Oh, Jesus. Amazon released a teaser trailer for the Rings of Power. Fine, let's do this. This appears to be Mythalon, the Grey Havens. This was the place that was seen at the end of the Return of the King where Frodo sails away. You can see hints of it in the buildings on the top left. I'm guessing this statue is Gilgalit, the High King, or Círdan, who is the Lord of the Grey Havens. The style does match what was done in the Peter Jackson films, so that's a plus. There's also a chance that all of this isn't CGI, but there's definitely some VFX going on with the background elements, and obviously the boats and the people. So far, this is okay. Okay, I don't know who these people are supposed to be. They've obviously murdered some Middle-Earth moose, but I can't think of any culture that they belong to. This also feels completely out of place for Tolkien's Middle-Earth and the Jackson films. This is more like something out of Game of Thrones or Shannara, which isn't a good sign. I also know that the Hobbits are coming because this line of dialogue sounds like what Sam said to Frodo in Nosgilia. Oh, look, Hobbits, in the Second Age. Here we go. So, this looks like Galadriel climbing the Helcaraxe by herself and in armor because that's exactly what you'd wear when you go mountain climbing. It's not like she'd freeze to death. Oh, wait, that's exactly what happens to numerous elves in the Silmarillion when they, along with Galadriel, cross the grinding ice. Now, this could also be her crossing the Misty Mountains, but that makes no sense because she could just go through Khazad-dûm like she does in the book. This is a new character, Discount Ned Stark, who's supposed to meet up with Galadriel. I'm guessing they created him because they couldn't do anything with Erendil, although they did change Isildur into a sailor. I'm not joking, so I don't know why they didn't just use him. Oh, look, the Black Elf. This would never happen in Middle-earth. The elves, particularly the Sylvan Elves, are described as having white, bare, or olive skin. They never get any darker than that, so it's just wrong. And before any of you bitch, I'm black, and I still think it's wrong because it's not what Tolkien wrote. But at the very least, you could have given them long hair like all the elves have. I mean, if it worked for James Earl Jones and Conan, it can work here. Ah, an actual elf. I guess this is Celebrimbor. The actor looks the part, and so does the set, but the costume looks like it's something from a completely different series. There's just something off about it. I can't tell if it's the design, the way it's lit, or how it's shot. I'm pretty sure they're using digital cameras, and that might be the culprit, because those tend to reveal costumes as costumes rather than making them look like clothes. Xena, warrior princess, rides again, and runs from a fantasy creature that again doesn't really feel like anything from the Jackson films. Also, it looks like this set could be Moria, which again makes a little sense. When Galadriel traveled through khazad she took her daughter Celebrian with her, so it wasn't this perilous journey. khazad was still glorious at the time. But I guess if you're trying to make Galadriel into an action girl, you've got to have her do something and do it in armor and by herself. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. There's no context for it, so the scene is just pointless. Oh look, a dwarf. He looks okay. At least it's toned down from the Hobbit designs. This is supposed to be Elrond. Yes, you heard me right. This guy is supposed to become this guy. They look nothing alike. They don't even have the same color hair. Whatever. No, yes, we know she's an elf, and literally every human in Middle-earth would know of them or have interacted with them because the elves are still a powerful force in Eriador. Is that Gandalf? That looks like Gandalf. It looks like you tried to sneak it by, but it didn't work because I know how to use a pause button. If that's Gandalf, you thoroughly ignored the lore, because he's not supposed to show up until a thousand years into the Third Age, meaning thousands of years after the rings were forged. If this is Gandalf, Good luck to this actor, because he's going to have to match Ian McKellen's performance, and I don't think you can. A dwarf smashing a stone, but we don't know why, so it's a pointless scene to add. Of course, the black elf is in chains. Why wouldn't he be? Now, there could be a story reason for this that has nothing to do with the political agenda. He could be fighting orcs, who would have every reason to chain him, or black Numenorians, black meaning aligned with Sauron, not black-skinned. But will anyone care? No. They're going to take one look at this, call it the wokeness, and be done with the trailer. Doing stuff like this makes it seem like part of Hollywood has become the liberal version of pure flicks. Could y'all just try, just once, just try to be less on the nose? I know the nose is black, so you've got a lot of room, but try. I'm black, I can say it. I think these are elves, but they could be Numenorians. They're fighting orcs, but again, we have no idea what's going on or who these people are, so it's another pointless scene. Yeah, that definitely looks like Gandalf, and with the Hobbit no less. So not only are you jumping the gun by 4,000 years, 
but you're having him show up in Middle Earth differently than in the books. In the Silberillion, he arrives in the Grey Haven shortly after Radagast and Saruman, all of them cloaked as old men. There's no fire, there's no hobbits, he's sent from Valinor by Manwe and didn't want to go. He didn't even want, you, you know what, no, 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 no. Not even going to black explain it, nope, don't care, no. If you don't want to follow the Lord, you should have made your own story. Then you could have whatever you wanted, your black elves and black dwarfs and ancient hobbits, and been able to explain it away as just how your fantasy world works. And then no one could complain. Some would, because thanks to the constant politicizing, they will see anything featuring minorities, females, or gay characters as part of an agenda. But at least it would make sense within the rules of your world. But when you take someone else's story and change it seemingly for no good reason, it's just insanity. It'd be like you having white people in a journey to the West. It's pure madness. Just like this trailer, which doesn't tell you anything about the story behind the show. I get that it's a teaser, but since they're not using actors from the Jackson films, no one will know who any of these characters are or what any of the scenes are referencing. The whole point of the teaser is to give people an idea of what the show is about. I couldn't tell you, and whatever I guess is probably better than what will actually be in the show. You had one job. Get the normies excited for the show, and you failed because they have no idea what they just watched. Also, you're getting blasted in the comments with people posting this quote by Tolkien. Evil cannot create anything new. They can only corrupt and ruin what good forces have invented or made. So, I'm going to say this. You got one episode. One episode not to fuck this up. I'll give you one. Fuck up that episode, and I'm getting in that ass. Bare and dry. Namarie.